The Pentagon has commissioned studies on wormholes, anti-gravity, and the medical injuries to people encountering UFO craft at close range, so says former Majority Leader Harry Reid, who sponsored the research program into UFOs in 2007. He adds, people at the Pentagon do not want to have to try to explain something that is not explainable. Watch all of this video to learn the full breadth of this research effort. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid is continuing to make the case for renewed studies into the UFO mystery. Back in 2007, Reid and a few Senate colleagues sponsored a secret Pentagon program that investigated mystery aircraft and related phenomenon. The program was based right here in Southern Nevada, but that effort ended six years ago and really very little from that study has been made public. Now the senator not only hopes the X-Files get released, but thinks there should be a renewed effort to get to the bottom of things. Senator Reid sat down with the I-team's George Knapp for this update. I'll bet you anything that China's spending some money checking this out. I'll bet you anything KGB Putin is spending some money checking this out. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid dropped major hints that he knows potential adversaries Russia and China have carried out their own military studies to figure out how UFOs work and how to build their own. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. The so-called gimbal UFO, recorded by military pilots in 2015, is one of dozens of similar objects encountered off the coasts of Florida and Virginia in the last three years, according to Pentagon sources. The Tic Tac UFO, which buzzed the USS Nimitz carrier group in 2004, was not only seen by pilots and cameras, but also by several high-tech sensor systems, as documented in a 13-page report written for the Pentagon, a document that went into the database of OSAP. That's the original acronym for the study that Reed sponsored. The senator said these craft are not ours. Wherever they are from, what do you think their interest is in us? What is it? Why are they buzzing around in the skies? And why are they inter, you know, interfering with the well, military? Well, I would just turn that around. Why are we interested in them? Same, same answer to your question. Because we don't know. Well, what about Tic Tac? You know, you've seen people try to explain it away. It was flares. It was birds. It's kind of an insult to our best pilots and our sensor systems that show this was real. It could do things we can't do. And we don't understand it. Well, we, this has been going on for a long time. Um, all these sightings are said to have been set off a rocket in California or something, but you know, just they, people do not want who are in positions of responsibility, whether it's a Pentagon or whatever it might be, they don't want to have to try to explain something that's many times not explainable. Reed says he has not personally read all of the reports and papers produced by the OSAP study, but he saw a lot of it. He assigned two senior staff members to look at pretty much all of it. The Pentagon has only confirmed the existence of 38 unclassified scientific papers produced by the study. Five of those have been made public so far. But what else is in the files? Reed previously confirmed the study investigated reports of UFO activity over American nuclear missile bases. He he also says part of the focus was on a mysterious ranch in northeastern Utah, a property once owned by businessman Robert Bigelow. The I-team has learned that Bigelow's UFO study employed more than 50 people at one point. One of the known 38 papers looked into the harmful health consequences for persons who've had close encounters. The paper has not been made public, but the chief scientist in the program spoke about it last year in Las Vegas. As part of this program, we looked at some cases that were really good from Brazil, 77, 78. It was like close encounters of the third kind. Thousand pages of documents, all done by the Brazilian Air Force investigative team. 500 photographs, 15 hours of motion film, a lot of medical injuries when people encountered these uh, craft at uh, close range. Senator Reid wanted to transition the study into a special access program, he says, because that was the only way to gain access to information and materials produced by other classified projects that have studied the same question. Other programs that have been um, done and information they have, including different um, pieces of evidence. Do you know what those pieces are? No, um, I've just only heard rumors, and I'm not going to get into the rumors, but that's why I wanted 
they have special access to go there. If I could go, I'd send my staff to look at it. The question remains, go look at what? George Knapp, 8 News Now. Thanks for watching this video. Click here to watch our playlist of short, credible videos covering all aspects of the UFO phenomena. And make sure you subscribe to catch the new content posted every week.